Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today I'd like to talk to you about perfect and ideal writing conditions and how this plays into our approach to writing. A lot of writers and many writers think we have to have the ideal condition. This means that we have to have a perfect study set up, we have to have the desk that is just so, the paper that's like this, the laptops like this. Um, and it's true, we've all been on writing retreats and had better conditions even if it's just going away for a day or so. Um, and this can really make a profound difference in your writing. But the vast majority of people don't have this type of condition all the time. For example, here I am and my writing condition is affected by somebody with COVID in the background my child. And so what am I supposed to do about writing or how would I write? Um, I have to write even if he's there. I have to write even if the things are not ideal and whatever I write, it might be a little more challenge to put out, but it will come out if it's meant to come out. So my suggestion is, um, not to focus too much on condition. What you need to focus on is what it is that you want to say and get to the point where it's really urgent that you want to say it and you'll manage to find a way to get it out. Um, ideal conditions pop up, but not quite as much as you think. Um, that's just the reality. Particularly, I would say, if you're not in a position where you're um, um, having to, or if you are in a position where you're dealing with unexpected circumstances, <coughs> many parents are, listen to the cough, um, you know, you're going to be affected by these things and it won't create the ideal writing condition, but you're going to have to figure out a way to make it work. Okay. So don't be hard on yourself. Go ahead, fantasize about the ideal writing thing, but, um, know that the, the bigger thing you should be thinking about is what is it I have to do and let me just get to it and do it, okay? That's about it for the day and I will let you go. Cheers, aloha. Please sign up for my writing substack newsletter on literature reading, writing, creativity, and health and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye-bye, cheers.